for Jackie. Jackie. Huh. The beat is real. Don't will make it kill ya. Get your green salad, broco vita. And Jackie. Sugar level, Jackie, Jackie. For Jackie, Jackie. For Jackie, for Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Green salad, broco vita. For Jackie, for Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Who sugar level for Jackie? For Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. For Jackie, for Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Chris, I let go, go meet her. Everybody check now. This advert has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Me did the yan yan te chua. And maybe I'm discovered for you. I'm going to boost you for Ghana. Me used to tap, tap, send. Tap, tap, send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy. A year convenient. A year fast. And sounds so you're free. Woo, to your she. Me discover how you map him. Tap, tap. Send in TNA. Also, download the Tap Tap Send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Let's first take a couple of busting for what Ghana for name you know. Tap Tap Send. Papa, no, no. Tudu na ni etina kamu kwanti tini akotoni yoma bigu ya shop mungu sa ubenya ni ina ofako eno so ya se ufufro uwo so tu ufako si kaswa ni nimpatemu anase achi watalapa se kosi insawamu Jimmy Dale is your one stop shop distribution for wholesale and retailer sefa drinks insu inyani anase ati bia upe bia sa uko tu mungu adia enye bebia wose utu mwa eye Jimmy Dale you can look at Jimmy Dale Ventures at Jigga Junction inside so to all call us now on 0208-920-996 Jumidal Ventures, the official sponsor for Summerflex TV
beautiful mix that here on Sammy Flex TV with my charges and we are about to do everything we have to do in our showbiz space. All the good and bad and the things that will surely promote our industry. We are about to have a conversation. My name is Sammy Flex. This is Showbiz Daily. You are watching this on Sammy Flex TV. And once again, let me show my appreciation to the whole world. The acceptance of Showbiz Daily. So, so great, man. We appreciate you guys. Keep your comments coming. The more you comment, the more we also know the good and the bad we are doing. So always feel free to be part of the show. Even if you are just watching, just like it and let us know, yeah, you were also there some. In 1990, you were also there some. Sometimes I see people comment on YouTube, yeah. I also watched this video in 2020. <laughs> so you can also put such a comment out and say, yeah, you also watched this video in 2022. Let us know what you think. And anytime you want to get to us personally, feel free. Our number is always available on the screen. Just get in touch with Sammy Flex TV and we sure do that for you. Any service you want to be done here in Ghana, as much as showbiz is concerned, we are here to do that for you. Today, someone called that. He wants to talk to Chemo from America. I yeah. say, yeah, you two papa on the yeah. office. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Chemo, how did it go? Did you talk to the gentleman? Yeah, yeah. We, we spoke for about 20 minutes or so. Hey, and then the one channel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, but, but what's his problem? What's his problem? I think he, he can't find his channel, the YouTube channel. No, as I hear, ah, or who have or be get it in an account. And either say or try to be in turn on the roof password. After several attempts, you know, ah, they've oh, taken it from me. Oh, yeah. Mm. But is it something you can work out? Yeah, yeah, we can do something about it. Mm. And then mm. I can say, mm. oh man, the consultation fees. Yeah, but <laughs> 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 Alright, so I'm the manager of Chemu. <laughs> if you have any YouTube issues, you just bring it. But remember, consultation fee. Five five hundred and hundred dollars. A consultation fee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm getting hundred charges. <laughs> All right, thank you. So, in Team Dodi Solo, what Chemo is here for uh, the week starts edition of Showbiz Daily. Man like Jay Smart is also here. Joey, yes, sir. How have you been? Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Now, you said your artist was on an interview in France. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, I think y yesterday, Sunday, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, the uh, Mrs. No, His Excellency, um, yes, her Excellency, her Excellency uh, Annie Sophie. Annie Sophie. Uh -huh. Yeah. They, they are coming out with a project i think uh to uh, it's targeted um towards the Ghanaian community living in france yeah to to probably share their stories uh how they go to france and then how france is treating them and so they oh, okay yeah that's a new content yes, started by the excellency yes exactly and Sophie. yes exactly so there is a presenter in france who yeah. is doing that yes but to be shown on her channel yes exactly and then and then they, they, they started it with um, elijah the, the worshiper and so they started with elijah yeah so he's the first artist yeah he's the he's the first person they are putting wow. through no, no, but big ups to Her Excellency and Sophie. I'm sure these are some of the things we are looking for not to watch it. Every day over the weekend. I also saw another video. She was going to buy fish. At a colleague. I said, hey, mommy, I think. I think. Fish is so tough. So, what is the story in fish buying? Ah, Roo! And he said, this was the so many activities. Yeah, no, I'm scared. I just saw it. Oh, just this weekend alone. Yes, just this weekend. In fact, when he said because hey, 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 because um the vows vows day the fourteenth Nankasa is on Monday. Mm -hmm. Most people are doing their events either on uh, twelve and thirteen. So mm -hmm. it start from eleventh. That is Friday, mm -hmm. twelve Saturday and thirteenth on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, the Amo weekdays now also jumped to the following weekend. That is from the eighteenth echo. Oh, okay. Uh, the 16th. So oh, those who were not able to do this weekend, they yes, are going to they continue. Are going to continue from, from the, the next, next weekend. weekend. Yes. Wow. And see, that is that is the uh, the information about Vows Day this weekend mm. or this season. Mm. Most most events, in all all. So the I events. see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, mm. and all in Accra. All in Accra. Hmm. These are the media ones. There are music concerts. <laughs> no, but there are no, few there, there ones. Are few there are ones few too ones in, in Kukumasi. Kukumasi. Yeah. yeah, like the, the, the Dana Hamilton experience. Yes, experience concert is also in Kukumasi. Yes, yes, in Kukumasi. And which one again? On the 13th. They have some few comedy shows as well. In Kukumasi. Yes. Once again, this weekend. Yes, this weekend. 
on the 13th, we have a project. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's also very, very true. Yeah. That is 13. We are doing the Befa project. A yeah. uh, good brother who lives in the USA and who has been a supporter and a follower of Sami Flex TV's and its activities linked up with Intim Dodu Solomon Chemo. And they started a project called Befa. They are inspiring hope in everyone. In fact, they are inspiring hope in their hopelessness. That <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You know, in Ghana, if you live here, you are living in a hopeless country. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot see, you cannot be sure of the future. But they are saying that no matter what, a befa. So guys, keep supporting us. So on Sunday, Ah yeah, yeah, Uncle Namrebo, that's his name. So on Sunday, we will be uh, gallivanting around La Paz, Kwashiman area to be giving out some things, donation, food, water, shirts, and drinks, more. So you can also support it in your way if you want to. It is powered by um, Professor Ankonam Rebo with support from Sami Flex TV, mm -hmm. led by Intim Dodu Solomon here in Ghana. So let's do it. And again on Saturday, Sami Flex TV's production team, that is Music Video Wing, uh, Currency and his people, they are also premiering a new video for an artist called Shackman. Shackman has a song which is suited for the new year. So we are doing the vi music video premiere on Saturday here in Accra at Ron's Place. Time is 8 p.m. So come with your friends. It's Saturday. Come and let's chill small. After a long week's work, come and let's chill small. Who knows? You might meet your future husband or wife there. So come. We be very fine. Then let's have a conversation. Now, there is something I want us to have a conversation on briefly. It's about Ogidi Brown and his mother, a.k.a. Artist Mami, a.k.a. Unimi. They are doing something online, and I'm kind of loving it. They will start with a conversation, Ogidi Brown to pay some money to their mom. Their mom will always be chasing Ogidi Brown for this money. And it's almost becoming more or less like a series. And it's becoming like a docudrama, like a documentary, like a drama of a sort. And I'm loving it. I want us to watch one of their episodes. Then I'll ask my people, what are the lessons in there? What are some of the good things they are doing? What are some of the uh, good, beautiful things we are seeing there? Can they even monetize or commercialize what they are doing? These are some of the conversations I want us to have between Ogidi Brown and the mother. The thing they are doing, they don't have any specific name for it. They don't have any specific title or theme. They talk about everything. Watch it when we come back. we we'll have an open discussion on this one. Artist mommy. Artist mommy. Only me. Oh yeah. I don't know you. No I bet you many have been here. Are they? Hmm. I got some music to come on you. Oh, but yeah, this time I mean, no one can tell me no one to. I can two euro, two euro. Now the other thing is, I need to be a bit cushiony. And the premier group I told them to say that I was going to say that I was going to say that I was Madame Fou, Madame Fou, bien ou aha? Madame Fou, 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 yeah, me and him. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
Pacha, maybe it's a shy. Maybe it's a shy in secondary school. Tertiary in Australia. I, I, my sister, I. University. University. Hey, I'm not going to go to school. I'm going to school by five. all right so that was just an excerpt from one of his episodes with the mom aka artist mommy aka only me and um we have been seeing this for some time we see them sometimes it will just be instagram post and just that i can see that the woman now has some huge following on instagram eh? even just a photo the kind of reactions you get from posting just photos it is not easy so let me start this with chemon and because uh, some of these things you know what are the lessons to pick in there uh Chemo has given me an intel that they are somehow commercializing it already i'm sure he, he can add more so what are the lessons in there i'll see you in this, this video this is not the first time uh, will be a uh, commercializing with visa I mean, you can look at the how i um the kim kardashian started and mm -hmm. a the whole family and they had in fact a bit more effort class they don't have any talent but they are making a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> out of that of these drama yeah just out of the drama that putting camera on them and mm. for them to be in their own space doing mm. their own living with the conditions yes. yeah that's it it's a huge a multinational a production mm -hmm. like based on that you know Kardashian is part of millionaires, uh, in fact billionaires in America and because of that. And I think a uh, uh, positive mm -hmm. and they have channel for it. O G B lifestyle. lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I never knew what to today. Yeah. Honestly. Mm -hmm. it, you know, a uh, uh, positive. I think um on on yeah. something bigger can even come come out of this. I mean say a uh, yeah bigger endorsement deals in there that the crab it may be from this mm -hmm. and you know i think uh okay the brown even in this video they did more or less like a product placement for, for uh, tap tap set uh -huh. mm -hmm. and you know uh, 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 the real more corner uh, i think we, we just have to encourage them mm -hmm. to do more and mm -hmm. maybe structure it a bit or be ancient you know um, people um, uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. but in terms of storylines uh, storylines and what to say what not to say now empa i eat a camel if you are all mad if you do baby no no or how much story in the bear one way because oh oh he said oh my and i never plan thing we are oh my yeah now a two man at home now my kingdom back and i hear you but air con and him now oh my air commercializing oh my man coffee be on yes will be been back will be searching on cancer you couldn't see any you see just to give that uh, you know and i know superman will grow faster uh, but uh, people will be looking out for it every week and i say every day we are be posted i mean how regular or many postings you know or for now but um they should regularize it as in abia every tuesday um, mm -hmm. every tuesday. Mm -hmm. there, should, there should be a time. time for it yeah uh -huh. yeah now almost yet then you that will regular now man for being looking out for yeah, it for it yes and it will help and uh, this is positive i see yeah. okay so it's in the solomon who is an expert in youtube tells us that there is a channel already on what they are doing ogb lifestyle on youtube you can also go check it out but the good thing is people are being entertained by what they are doing how far can they sustain this let me go on to um, jay smart let me get his opinion he is a journalist a promoter and artist manager as well jay yes sir what do you see okay the brown and the mom okay so um let me 
say a very let, let me greet all our um, viewers uh, I, I believe this is a very good initiative i've been following them though oh, yeah, yeah, yes yeah. i have been following well, them on from the YouTube. onset uh, i i, I I'm, I'm just realizing they are even on youtube i i've been following them on um, instagram mm -hmm. and so it's good we, we know they've commercialized it that um, and uh, again i think they have to draw people's attention to the mm -hmm. youtube site so that people mm -hmm. will know that what they are doing on instagram mm -hmm. it is available as well on um, I, I, YouTube. I suspect they don't want it to create that deliberate attention on the YouTube for people to think that oh so what you guys are doing mm -hmm. it is for money purposes so, <laughs> so there are ways to go about it if you don't want to create that deliberate attention that if you don't want people to know that you are doing it for money you can do probably let's say a short aspect of it and then you put the longer version on your YouTube channel and then probably you join the link and you tell people that if you go to the YouTube, uh, if you go to the YouTube channel they are going to get the uh, full, full version over there <laughs> <laughs> and with that <laughs> yes I, I think I think that that is one of the ways that people are uh, transferring numbers lately mm. you you just put a short or accept of it somewhere and then you just wow, add wow, the link wow. What I'm saying that they shouldn't put that. They should just tell people that we are on YouTube. Go there and watch. If you watch, you will make money. Tell people. <laughs> That's <laughs> how it's supposed to be. I mean, they are entertaining you and you don't want to pay for it. Mm -hmm. You just have to make an argument that, yes, I'm entertaining you. And the only way that you can pay me is to watch my videos on YouTube. That's how it. difficult can this be? Okay, so they shouldn't be hiding it at no, all. No, not at all. Okay. It's not even good that you are hiding it. No. All right, yeah. People will know. So just make your argument that i deserve the money when you watch it that's all okay yeah. so um if you follow ogidi brown or you you have been an ardent follower of ogidi brown you realize that the guy is really creative he's very 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 very, very creative uh, like i said i've been following this uh, from the onset and trust me i've not seen any repetition of storyline no they they always so uh, i would want to believe and probably this ogidi brown is creative of course, of course, <laughs> of course. I, I believe so. I believe because even even far from that, you know, when this skate thing came, o o Giddy Brown actually uh, involved himself. He he was really a, a huge participant of this skate thing, uh, where he was producing. Yes, the comedy skate where he was. Okay, we have passed through some of the Kuma wood. Mm. Exactly, mm. exactly. Mm. And even uh, at the point in time, uh, you see his uh, situation right now, right? Um, he, he he goes with his car. He let people put camera on him and then he tried to tell people stories how uh, probably he's able to get out from the car how he's able to get into the car and how he uses um the the, the wheelchair he sits on and so and and all those stuff were on youtube right and it it, it was a very good piece like masterpiece when you watch uh, you get a lot of information you learn a lot from it and so for ogidi brown i know him to be a very very talented person and I've been saying this always that if cause assistance we, we all know that Ogidi Brown is not making too much especially from the music aspect and again if you want to remain um, relevant in this uh, space you need to think very higher you, you have to think ahead and so I think for Ogidi Brown to still be relevant I think this is one of the things that can make him stay relevant and he, he's on it Ogidi Brown is very creative like I said and if you are an entertainment person you, you do not have a limit you do not have a limit that okay so it is only music that even music have to be stories you, you have to put stories together to to form music so that people will really follow what you are telling so you can transfer those knowledge to those angles and it is exactly what Ogie De Brown is doing and he, he's been able to give the mom that mileage mm. he's mm. been able to give and again is it this Kumasi people you, you can't take acting away from yeah. them yeah they have it because yeah. if you follow them as well uh, exactly because <laughs> exactly because if, if you look at the mom you you'll be wondering this woman have they been giving her script or whatsoever because she does it so so well. look at even what we just watched the kind of question mm. she was asking uh mm. the the lady and what, what if it was re it's, it's rehearsed okay so what that, that is can fine. it be that what they do is rehearsed I, 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 doubt, oh, I, I doubt I doubt I doubt, I doubt it is rehearsed but then even mm -hmm. if it is rehearsed I, I don't think there is an issue with it it is fine mm -hmm. 
probably for them to get it so so right and so they need to so it doesn't become boring what we watch we we got entertained we really loved what they did and so i, I don't think it is wrong so what i think is that they should uh, start maybe if they would do it in uh, maybe in episodes so that people will really follow, follow and then the yes and get episode. some story it wouldn't yeah. just be like you are just watching something to get entertained but you should try and then get one or two piece yeah. out of it and again one thing that i think this very skate will do to um Ogidi brown and his situation is that uh, he would not get to think so much about uh, his cause Ogidi brown i i know have been through a lot of issue uh, last the, the last time I watched her mom open up about Ogidi Brown was how the, the stigmatization, how people mm -hmm. stigmatize him, especially in his situation. And trust me, uh, even even him, I've I've heard him uh, talk a lot about this thing. I mean, it is very sad for somebody who wasn't born probably paralyzed to go into that situation. And so you need certain things that will take your mind off such situation time to time and so i think some of these things are the things that will really help ogidi brown so probably he may not be thinking towards that direction so, and people mm. will even love people who did not know he was a musician or didn't follow his music will probably love him more from this angle so i think it is good okay thank you so much J smart for that addition now moving on to uh, roland amate but before i move on i want to announce that if you also have a story to share about what Ogidi Brown and the mom, what they are doing, you can feel free to share that story with us. We want to learn. We want to see how things are going with what they are doing. Maybe you think what they are doing is rehearsed or it is not rehearsed. Share with us here on Summit Flex TV, Showbiz Daily Row. Let me get your opinion. Um, what you are also seeing from Ogidi Brown and artist Mame. No, I can say only me. Uh, that's a, this is beautiful. This is something that we should commend Ogidi Brown and his mom for mm -hmm. you know tell are my examples of the kardashians and mm -hmm. other people and this mm -hmm. is not the first time i always say, say anybody that finds himself in a petty space they are as multi-talented mm -hmm. and at a point you can you can just experiment other talents you have okay. it is it is no crime mm -hmm. that is what Ogilvy brown is doing mm -hmm. you know we we live in a space where now ccr and the internet are money may be a little easy Mm -hmm. Especially when it comes to broadcasting and also mm. giving out mm. information, information yeah. and also entertaining people, and these are one of the ways. Because so the divan, as we know, yes, if you are not on himself, the mom naturally can be very dramatic, mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. and she she has the potentials of also act, acting. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes our parents used to do some some things that when you grow up they tell you oh me my parents should not be yes my parents should not be yes mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sometimes we doubt them mm -hmm. these are some of the ways that we can just get some of these things out of them probably mm the brahma -hmm. may catch and say oh me my parents should share not minimal to you make do a way to go boy i see me do a way to go boy i say i don't know my manager and it is very good dance god lloyd Involved mm -hmm. his parents mm -hmm. and this guy who just lost SDK. the comedian SDK, SDK yes. also involved yeah, his yeah, parents. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we all saw how productive they were. Mm. In fact, mm. this, 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 there are so many ways of cashing in. Just that sometimes, if you don't, the only thing that is more expensive than money is information. Mm. So we mm. need that if you don't have the information, you don't have the you information. Wouldn't be able to operate yes, well. You, yeah. Exactly. And see, I know, I know I think so. The Browner has very good information mm -hmm. the only thing that we can tell him is to like add him home mm -hmm. let's add him on so so that he can do more mm -hmm. because yes i think and one thing that i like is that he he started this on a very good note as in the round yes so with me the monetization in them mm. unlike the rock stones who were not able to realize the monetization and the kind but of content. Is it their intention to monetize oh, the no. range of stone? No, no. That's mm. that's why I'm very happy for Giddy Brown. Mm. Because you know, some of these things eh, sometimes unconsciously, unconsciously you know, it's me appealing to people that uh, yes, not your more castle, maybe they should uh, put out some date and time, be almost an almost schedule or more productions mm -hmm. and how they put them out. You mm -hmm. know, to me I feel say it is still early days yet. Okay. They can they can go the way they are going. You know, Ogidi Brown is known for music mm -hmm. and not specifically for acting or whatsoever. Mm. Okay, so if he, he decides to make a quick U-turn to say, say, okay, this is what I'm doing now. 
sometimes it will be difficult for you to convince the people that like you for music mm -hmm. to follow what you are doing. Mm. But subconsciously, you can put this also in their mind and they will love you for the two. Okay. That is if you give them some time to naturally love it. Love what they are doing. Yes, and flow with it. Mm. So, yes, maybe you he can also employ the services of good storytellers and script writers that can feed him with more content to boost up their production. But then now, I think say for, for now to the end of the year, dear, a bit me you see this or, or maintain this our course we are just like you know internet there when it comes to internet and getting money out of it and yeah now your terrain i will sometimes say very funny the moment you post something on youtube and somebody will be was say sad notion they say hey i did we make sure we need scrap here some people are very ignorant about some of these things and yeah not air time okay i mean i mean question on you know but Mika says when you panel to YouTube and near more shell. But oh who say oh as soon as it chemo pad ye ni pass and don't coffee la like. I just say your power sem extra. And you know on like uh oh nimo, but they are still giving you the brown content. So I think along the line he should just flow like that. On your man in course, it will get to a point he wouldn't he wouldn't even need to advertise himself so Maybe may, there's the full video on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It will get to a point eh, among us, so maybe sir, when he puts out even a short one, I be at one. No, 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 this is a story. I say this. Some people will even come to him and be asking him, say, there should be a continuation of this story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because at the point when they were having this story about Ogidi Brown to send money to the mom mm -hmm. to pay some church, that story was so interesting. Uh -huh. Because every day Ogidi Brown, the, mom, the, mom, the mother will come asking Ogidi Brown, Ogidi Brown, where is the money? Uh -huh. Ogidi Brown won't pay, Ogidi Brown will go and sit and wait, eat food. <laughs> then the mother will ah, uh -huh. you, you owe me, you <laughs> <laughs> you see, and, and these are wait, 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 yes. contents now, Manako. And you know, sometimes they will already say what well, man is you, but it is the people that will come and ask. Mm. Say, and all it, it makes the job very easy and easy to flow with. Mm. Unlike mm. you going to them, say, okay, it is not bad for you to go to them. So, this is the story, the full length or the, the full video is on YouTube. You can go and find it. Mm. But then, when Oman Kasa, you make them hunger for the content, it yeah. makes everything easy. And very good. So I uh, will just comment with Gidi Brown and okay. Artist Mami. In mm -hmm. fact, they are doing marvelous. And Charlie, I am very, very happy for Gidi Brown. All right. Yes, I'm better to recover. Yes. Me new baby on Mukriti channel, like on location, you say Italy, wow, Tunisia. And then I'm more moon music at the crowd. Or moon yet, even there's an option for them. Uh, uh, you know, I think Italy for qualify. Ah, over to me, I have. For people to donate for you to even do more. Yeah, yeah, that day you were telling me, he said, I cry between Jonas. For people to donate for you to even do more content. They will want to over subscribe it so that you get exclusive to watch. Or all activating in the Adisica will be on activity. Because YouTube now is not going to be able to do Okay. A huge company will give a lot of people jobs. And in the day, they should take full advantage and forget about the other case. Men are married, no yes, can say any part of the world. If you are for the rest of the time, because who now who can entertain you? And to get good entertainment, you have to pay for it in one way or the other. One who did the brand there now for her a idea, Zion Felix idea, or the very new material. <laughs> the whole thing is that you, yeah, just, yeah, you just want <laughs> happiness. And you know, there are people who are sick and they are sick. They are not 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 sick. Forget about that. Just take your happiness and from someone. Okay, I love the I love the anger, but uh, they are not sick. They are not sick. <laughs> Interestingly, now Zion Felix has also started another channel. I don't know if yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Zion Felix Studio, yeah, yeah. but it's yeah. also doing well, so I'm sure. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, thank you. It's him, Don Disilobo. Thank you, Jess Matt. And thank you, Roland Amati, as well. Moving on. Still here on Summit Flex TV, Showbiz Daily. Remember, this is a daily show that comes your way every day here in the evening of Ghana, 8.30 p.m. But from your location, you can also watch it, be informed, be entertained, and, of course, be uh, educated as well. Chemo is putting out so many education on YouTube management here and there. Uh, Roland is teaching us about events and other guys are teaching us so many things that we are all supposed to learn here on the channel now i'm here with my team of producers led by digital rasta his name is currency richie flex yeah lucky g tina baby and gideon we are also getting support from tap tap send you can always send your money via tap tap send or and their mom they even mentioned it mm -hmm. so so we use tap tap send so if you live abroad why don't you try this if you have uh this in your country try sending money to your people here in africa and everything will be fine MOG is a beat maker. He is known for producing beats for almost all the top guys here in Ghana. In fact, one artist that he has consistently worked with is uh, Sarkodie. He has been Sarkodie's producer for so many years. Sometimes Sarkodie has been traveling with him around the world to do some productions, to do some recordings. And he says something that is so shocking to me. And I'll be asking my people why they think this is happening like that. At the end of the day, I also have something in mind. If nobody mentions it, I'm sure I'll also say why I think it's happening like that. Now, Richie, let's put what MOG said on the screen. Let's read it. As a producer, sometimes they come up with APs, songs that they have produced, but they call people to come and put their voices on them. And they own them. The producer owns such works. Now, he's saying that getting Nigeria acts on my EP seems a lot easier than getting some some of my own brothers from ghana on the ep now listen to this he wants to come up with an ep that is an extended play of a collection of songs mm -hmm. but he's saying yeah, that yeah. getting people from ghana has become so difficult for him though he's a ghanaian producer known to be working with all the top guys here in ghana then again according to him getting artists from nigeria has become very easy for him and i'm shocked what is happening? I have something in mind. Like I said, I'll come back and mention it if my people don't mention it. I'm starting this with Jay Smart. Yes, sir. Jay. Yes, sir. What do you think is happening? Okay. Um. Richie, let's see the post again, the tweet again um, from MOG Beats. What I it said, getting Nigeria act on my EP seems a lot easier than getting some of my own brothers from Ghana on the EP. Ro, now we have brand here. Image is not there. Gonna search us in first two, the last one. I search us in first two, near here. I give you here. Ah, shit. Eh, and a third one. No, and here. Hmm. A boom. A boom. Ha 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 ha. Are you sure? I cannot lie to you. That's it. And here one. Are you? Are you feeling? Oh, I'm one of you. See, see, they go away. I have a big cat. My, my, my boys. Eh, and the last one. And actually. Uh -huh. uh, like sound of relief. Yes. Uh -huh. Like uh -huh. that's the last one. Mm. And the first two they are what? Mm. My bread. We are friends and yet. And yet. Okay. Okay. Just what? Why do you think it's happening like that? And now uh, our uh, KK has come in. Uh, Chabu, don't eat till you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Uh, First of Very all, uh, <laughs> first, first of all, why I think it's happening like that mm -hmm. is probably because, no, not probably because most of our people do not understand business, and the people sometimes they they, they have around them do not encourage them to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I, I would want to back this with uh, a few examples. So last year. Elijah was putting his album mm -hmm. out, winner album. Mm -hmm. Elijah is a gospel musician. You see, this thing we are talking about here, uh, it is not just happening in the secular field. It is even happening in the gospel field as well. Or, or the sector of the, the entertainment, yes, entertainment yeah. industry. Mm -hmm. This is happening there. Because looking at emoji and the capacity in which he has attained, this thing shouldn't be a problem for emoji. Uh, we should have probably some emerging sound engineer come out to say this thing, not emoji. Looking at the status he has acquired or achieved for himself, 
with the very musicians he's worked with. This shouldn't be an issue with emoji. So, like I was saying, um, if, if you look at Elijah's winner album, we have one big um, gospel musician on it here in Ghana. You see, that album, we actually wanted to work across the globe. And trust me, with all the musicians we had from different parts of the world, not Ghana here, we didn't struggle to get these people on a project. But the musician we were picking from Ghana here gave us a very tough time, a very tough one, mm. a very, very tough one. So, uh, why, I, why, why do you think they were giving you that tough time? Why? I, I, for that, that is why I'm, I'm saying that. Was the discussion with them business discussion? Of course, business discussion. You guys were paying them. Exactly. We were and you were telling them, them this so, from onset. Of, of course. Of, of course. So I, I actually did the calling. I, I contacted and then we, we had discussion everything. They, they made me understand the, the money they, they, they wanted to take. Mm -hmm. you, you see, so well, one thing too about this our people is that when they hear the musician is even a, a foreign based musician mm -hmm. that even that that even spurs the discussion so we, we actually settled on a certain amount mm -hmm. and then later when they did their found finders and then realized the musician isn't a Ghanaian is europe is, is, isn't a Ghanaian musician they came back and it was like okay so we need this amount of money instead so that we will be available for the video shoot and then we will again promote the song when the the need arrive I said okay that's fine Let, let's talk with the team and then get back to you we needed them so bad on the project and so when we sat down to talk with the team we all agreed that okay let's put that musician on and so i had to call this musician again uh, I, I was speaking with the manager before now he put me on to the musician herself mm -hmm. so we have to do herself it, yeah herself he's, okay. a, he's, a, he's a woman actually okay. so we did this discussion we booked studio everything and they gave me their time their, their, their schedule their plan everything and so i have to book the and again because we wanted everything to favor them the musician lives in tema and so we have to get a studio somewhere in tema that will help them the artist wanted the feature yes that, lived in tema. yes so lived you guys in tema. were forced to go and record in tema in, in tema so she you wouldn't see, drive you see the, the production actually was being done in nigeria and okay. so because the art if elijah is not here then we were doing the thing and take it back to them and so we have to get a studio available like okay. where yes mm -hmm. yes so she records her version and we had other studios in mind probably some where the charges would, would have even it come down. down but yeah. because we, we wanted everything at ease we wanted the musician to feel very comfortable okay. with yeah. the project we decided to book a studio even just around her so we gave time look we didn't even give she gave us the time everything now the the uh, let's say a day to the recording day i had to call this musician i called and it was like okay so uh, we we have an appointment so uh, is it going to happen i want to know so we know how to go around with stuff so i called and then she was like uh she, she's coming she'll get back to me there I, 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 I like I, I didn't know what to I, I, be, I became worried because okay, everything was based on mm -hmm. or on plus so if you tell me you are coming because initially we had back and forth with a payment now we've done everything up front we gave you all the money mm -hmm. now now yes we, we give all the money everything including studio fees we have equally made those payments and it was like it, she was going to get back to me so the the initial time was 10 a.m mm -hmm. I was there almost like 12 mm -hmm. and then hasn't heard from her so I have to call again I called stories and then later she came by go back to me and then was like um we, we should change the date to another day and I was okay. like oh come on you we, we don't do business like this again I didn't force you or coerce you to give me a time it is you who gave me your your time a time that you thought would suit you and so you coming back telling me we should it will cause we have books to you and the studio definitely if we should change Even the the, the mm -hmm. ground, right? didn't see yes mm -hmm. and if we should go by it means we are going to pay again and then she begged us uh, it was like okay so we we needed her it, it was her we've pictured even the song everything we did it because it, it was her, yeah, yeah to see her and so we had to wait now the 
next day reached that i have to call again i called this woman and then the woman was not telling me that the husband has been admitted at the hospital and that uh, uh, she's at the hospital but how she, she was talking i thought there was some light in there so my, my point my point is my point is you see my, a, gospel a gospel musician <laughs> And lives around Tema. Lives around Tema. So you see, my, my point, my point was that. that oh, my, 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 my point was that. My point was that. You see, you've been paid. We've had, a, 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 like, we, we've An come agreement, to an yeah. agreement, right? And you equally gave us your timing, your schedule, everything. And so I didn't understand what she was doing. The back and forth she was taking us. I really didn't so understand. So how did it end? So summarize it for me. So I had to. I had to. You see, I had to call. Uh, Dela Edem. I don't know if you know Dela Edem. I think I've heard the name. Yes. Dela Edem is one of the NDC groups. And Dela Edem happens to be very close to this woman's husband. And so I called Dela Edem and I was like, uh, Mr. Dela, so I am having uh, so so and so Challenge. with uh, Empress. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 I was having a few challenges with a, a certain musician, but I, I know you are related to this to musician's husband. husband. But then yeah. this is the information I'm getting. So the I husband is also a politician, I guess. That I, I, as I the line them is closer to him. Oh no! I mean, no, you don't have to be. You don't have to be, don't have to be a politician no, to get closer to or uh, befriend somebody. So, oh, politicians relate to themselves better. Yeah. Okay, I don't really know okay. about that. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, now the leader was like, "Okay, Jay, relax. You, you, you are my guy. So let me do this finally for you." So he quickly called. And he he said he was going to call the man's secretary, and I was like, "No, <coughs> I, I won't call the secretary." A secretary the again secretary. so he caught the man himself when he called the man even he did not tell the man that this and that was the issue he just wanted to fight so he called the man and was like oh uh, my boss i've not heard from you in a while so i just wanted to so he came back and it was like jay i spoke with uh, the man he's fine there's no and then i had to call the missing again i was like so what is the issue let us know what the issue is so because it looked as if you you are fooling us sort of mm. meanwhile we have our <coughs> plan everything uh, the release date, everything. Now, uh, my findings tells me that your husband is fit. So, what is the issue? Now, this musician rather gets angry. Why do I go back? I was like, no. So, did she do the work finally? She did the work finally. But, you see, we really struggled. Even this one, that we paid an amount that she requested for herself. I don't know if you get what I'm trying yeah, to do. Yeah, I get it. I get right? it. Uh -huh. so, so, when is the work coming? Oh, no, no, that's, uh, that work, we've done it. It's even out, uh, everything. But my point is... Yeah, the work is out. Yeah, the work is out. Oh. On the rate of the albums. Winner, winner album. Uh, mm -hmm. Quick. <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> iTunes or Audio Mac or something. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, is it... You so, have a video. <laughs> so, so, no video so, so, it, yes. so, my, my point is, mm -hmm. even as you have your money that you are getting these people for the work, it is very difficult <laughs> to, to have them. And then... Mm, so even you going with your money it is difficult to get these people so okay. talk less of you not even going in with money because i know so with, with the kind of deal um mog wants to do they don't pay the artist yes so this is what they do they can say um i have a bit i want to put a, for a verse on it for me when they do the distribution they can do the sharing yes 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 that's what he wants to do. yes that's what he wants and, 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 and so what they to do is not free you yes it's not free and even with that why it is you the artist will be performing the songs not in yes. emoji yes and so i don't see why this should be difficult so i don't know why and his own Ghanaian people are giving yes time. now like in nigeria yes it's an easy yes. way for him oh, yes uh, no even with elijah we, we got it so easy from from nigeria and uh, again you see uh you, you look at agbeshi you, right. you look at you look at uh, so what was JJ. the song you guys were recording <laughs> you look at oh, no 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 Benami. we are selling her album so don't joke what so, was that so the, the song the song is big god okay big god <laughs> <laughs> The song is big god. So you see, no, 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 you look at JJ Gonami. Mm -hmm. uh, you look at uh, 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 this guy, Jaffinga. Uh -huh. Now there is a new chief one, B.O.M. Uh -huh. you, you look at Jaffinga. Uh -huh. All th these people have songs with Pato Rankin. Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. They have songs with uh, Ice Prince mm -hmm. and the likes. Mm -hmm. These are not uh, how, how do you call uh, uh, yeah. house house household names here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. But then they, they've managed to have people like uh, Ato uh, Rankin, Ranking, Victor Eddy, yeah. Ice Prince or on their songs. So it means what uh, MOG is saying. And they don't even have songs with their own countrymen. No, no, no. Like their own voters. Exactly, exactly, exactly. They don't have. Way. So you see, this issue, this is actually an issue. It is happening in the space and i think it is be because there's no love so so what, what, what do you think will also make the nigerians come through easily i have something in mind i'll share later though okay so what i feel makes the nigerian comes through easy is it is because of their conscious agenda always to penetrate every market they always want to dominate every market that is why nigerians wh whether 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 you 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 are an up and coming whatsoever once the vibe is good look uh davido uh, and and uh D davido himself had a, a project i think latter part last year with uh this south african uh, musician that uh stop boy equally featured afro the name has escaped me though mm. that song didn't do well like that like the feature he just did for skibi that that new song you see how the vibe is so is it sometimes eh, the song necessarily might not be your own song but your input on someone's song can even take you there may give you a lot of deals and then will we, we'll project you so so you see it is the business mind these people do not have and again they don't think far hmm. that is that is where most of madness. that that is where most of uh, our people and again the people they surround themselves with especially sometimes you can talk to that an is artist. what for was it caspar Vest? No, 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 not Cas, no Casper Novest. Uh, uh, he has, he has a song. Just Stoneboy did a, Stoneboy did a song with him. Yes, yeah, Stone, Stoneboy has. Well, Stoneboy uh, has a song with Casper called Wami. Yes, yes, yeah. Wami, oh, Wami. Oh, the, the, um, this thing has escaped me. But the video has with one South African uh, musician. No problem. I'm yeah. sure we'll get to know it later. Sure, yeah. sure. Is it so? My, my point is, is it sometimes even the managers, some of the artists have around them, mm -hmm. are even the cost. Mm -hmm. you you could send the project everything to the end even how to deliver it to the artist becomes problem the moment you call to put pressure on them it's as if you are bothering them or you are worrying them you okay. see so these people do not even oh, understand fo focalistic what, focalistic exactly ah, yeah, yeah, exactly focalistic, yeah. so these people do not know what they, they are they, they are doing and then don't even know how to get others involved because when you feature an artist you are tapping into his fan base and is it this is okay. uh, again if it is business oriented then why sh why why should you bring yeah. difficulties in that i know I all right so the album is called um what's the name of the album winner winner and according to our search uh roland what did you find okay so on the winner album by elijah the worshiper mm -hmm. i think the the album has 10 songs mm -hmm. 10 solid songs mm -hmm. and uh it has grateful featuring Nancy Kion. Mm -hmm. Second, Nancy Kion is from where? Nigeria. Nigeria. Uh, mm -hmm. Winner featuring Jace Beat. Mm -hmm. Goodness featuring uh, Goodness that is featuring MC Jones Amobi. Mm -hmm. Mark oh. Jones. Ah, uh, okay, Mark Jones. Mark Jones is equal to Nigeria. Beverly Hudson. Yeah, mm -hmm. Kenya. Big God. Mm -hmm. Empress Gift to Your Say. Yes, that is on that. <laughs> <laughs> May God and friends give to us a camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For your fancy people, yeah, yeah, no, you can go and listen to the album. Uh, Maybe uh, we will pay attention to her delivery and in connection with the story and see how it was about. Uh, we will see how it goes. So you guys never shot a video for it, I guess. Yeah, b because of what we went through. How oh, did you with my music? <laughs> <laughs> She has later be calling for the video and all of that, okay, no but problem. just that Elijah has been after she saw your helicopter <laughs> video, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> after she saw your chopper video, I guess. Okay, yes, yeah, so, so what do you think might be happening? Thanks, uh, just Matt. Mm -hmm. Second one has to do with the level of professionalism in the country, mm -hmm. and two, the business mind okay. of the whole game. That is one thing that we as a people we are lacking. I'm mm. going to involve everybody because this is something that is not peculiar with only music, but mm -hmm. even in movies and other sectors of it. It is happening as well. Yes, it is happening. Mm. The level of professionalism of Okuma and Sebastian will form. You see, sometimes eh, there, there, there is that discussion. Oh, 
Nigeria for like the way MOG can and the way the smart people complaining. Yes, all per Nigeria need on the EP on the project. He didn't struggle. He didn't struggle. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they are laid down procedures. Mm -hmm. Even if the person won't do it, the person will will make even when the rejection the crime will not be that painful. Yeah. They are laid down procedures. Oh, mm -hmm. say, oh no, this one day. Go about it this way, go, go about, about it that way. Yes. Who send an email call baby and at once they will give you feedback. But even a phone call in Ghana here, I'll get back to you. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <yeah, laughs> <yeah, laughs> Chemo will tell you that they wouldn't be able to do it, the bomb can't travel. Yes. Mm. And then Chemo will say, hi, we don't give bad news, so I'll get back to you in the G and now you catch now on our start table. That's that's how it is. So the level of professionalism, the Bema, somebody like a Muji, I encounter such situations. And again, you see, people don't want to learn, people don't want to upgrade. They are always comfortable with what they know to do. Mm. So when recently, yeah, 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 Mm. And that is one thing that we are suffering today. Mm. So somebody like Emoji will struggle to have his colleagues on your most face on a project that even a foreigner, not because they be a, the foreign a foreigners not and maybe a foreigner is only too cheap. No. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is not because they are too cheap, but because they understand the business mind aspect of the whole game. Okay. And how professional they are. Mm. Because yes, you get feeling say okay, maybe maybe your artist a eh, if I am even com if I am not comfortable with my own terms, that is the situation we are living in here. It is an ma people people struggle and people weep. I'm not full soon, I'm not oh it's just much for you, I lucky. It's me and you man. Mm. But for after the strike, after a long strike, a man for six cashes, a man for to audio grandma. You are sending your no so best, and they best, and they buy your no so crack and yes, and it is happening in this country. It is, it is very, very sad and very unfortunate. Say, even somebody like Emoji, a, a, a producer of his caliber, to even go through some of these things. I, 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 I very disheartening because I share, I share the whole space. I say, same, same, you dear bro. And can we my up and coming producer be the American side? We need to say, be be a shy side here. Here are the difficult, and be be a shy side here. Definitely, you are going to encounter some of these things because we we are experienced in the terrain so much. But for a uh, producer of Excalibur to have some of these uh, challenges shows clearly say there's a problem with the industry. Mm, mm, and this mm, is one. Mm. This is what when some people talk about. Uh, Becca say, hey, I would do me a two no. They speak anyhow, they talk anyhow. The level of professionalism will form. Oh, form. Because Emoji Becker say, oh, yes, I don't know your media. It is a, you have a science finish it now. Probably because the song belongs to me, I am going to own about 60 to 70% of the whole cut out. And also Becker say, there be some room to be. Me not able to add here. Me, me, voice never cover the whole song. So I should rather benefit. Then it becomes back and forth. Because on the business of whatever is going on, as then the person backs off. But at the end of the day, a foreigner, I don't want to use Nigerian because I quite say you're having so much conversation about them. And man, uh, may, I, I feel say yeah, it's too much, even though it says still we will still be having this. Ghana <laughs> but, but this is the story yes, of what? Ghana Nigeria conversation, they are too shy. Uh, because why? Because they are so anti American. Say, oh, check it, almost all the aspects of the industry now. <laughs> And you see, you will find the Nigerian sport or stain in every aspect of the industry, mm. Mm. both in movies. L uh, recently, this guy, what a bombshell, yeah, uh, that mm. one, Enoch, 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 video be a me who on Instagram, he was just relaxed, saying, say, yes, oh, our Nigeria is here in a smart dream, yeah, our Ghana by this time, and Kaba is our tongue, pure taroba, and our tongue, politics, that's what he said, that's what he said. That's what he said. 
for that he is now comfortable in Nigeria. In Nigeria. And if he had been in Ghana, like he was saying, on the streets. Yes. That's what he said. So at the end of the day, when you ask him also, he will tell you, say, it is even easier to work with some of the producers there than working with his own people here. So assuming these two people want to get people on the project, they will still be saying the same thing because why? Level of professionalism, right? Well, from business mind, no, so, 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 until, until they start going hungry, until the Ghanaian creative starts going hungry. Mm -hmm. Oh, forget it. On your professional business mind again. Yeah. I see. Thank you, Roland Amate, for that input as well. But what do you also think might be happening? Um, MOG Beats is a known producer, award winning beat maker, and he's saying that he wants to put together an EP. I want to believe that because he is a pro, he's not calling any of these guys to have a beat for free. Because, like Roland said earlier, he has been fighting for split sheets. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he even called uh, Shatawale. That Shatawali, come and give me my split sheet. Shata never responded though. We don't know how far that case went to. <laughs> so at this stage, I want to believe he was calling there for business. But according to him, he's saying that it is easier to get his Nigerian friends than his own Ghanaian friends. What are the reasons? Chemo will speak next. Chemo. Yeah. Mm. Really, really a straightforward thing. I mean, our professionalism is, is non-existent. What say you piss it as I said we don't long, we want yes, the money. Okay. No, yeah. We want money but we want it in our own terms. We want it in our own terms. It is said we are going to visit the house in Kunyare. Now Kunyare are done. Oh yeah, doctor. Like in her own term, Anna or a person or Anna whatever it is like. The business you know, promise. It, yes. So I have business in the encoder. And it's because when you want to take them on, like mm -hmm. imagine at that time, uh, yes. this yes. match yes. he yes. decided yes. to take her to court. Mm -hmm. Just imagine what will happen then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can be a different thing altogether. This match in Kau, over in the Papa Nini, we are in the Bama. 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 We and so, so yeah, yeah, business now. Why, why they say, oh, but you know, oh, tell me once, so time with that one. We own the thing, we have to do promotions. Yeah, yeah, say you did one, want to do, or say that. Or no, any terms, you know, they behave you, man. And most of our people, that's how they behave, or that's how they uh, see business. Especially when you give them money or something, they actually, they are dead. Very humanist. Very humanist. If they don't have the money and they are sure that they will get the money, sometimes they will be quick to do their job so that they can get the money. But if you give them the money, master forget. They will do the job for you, but to you now you will see. A bako when any any bina on the this matter. And no more makani na a lot of them. That's how they behave, including in this account. Like uh, it's 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 big issue here in Ghana. Like our professional our professionalism towards uh, business in you know, our form. We don't like book work. When you want to do even an interview with somebody mm -hmm. in a normal setting, the person has to sign an agreement that I uh, agree that you interview me mm -hmm. and my next situation we are quite say why sign mommy. And I'm saying, oh, you are supposed to sign it to agree that I say, yeah, you there, you and I there. Uh, There's nothing so just sign it for me. I'm saying, oh yeah, 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 but if you don't understand what is in there, I can explain it to you. After that you say, oh, you would make you design. <laughs> Charlie, I did whatever. Like I want to convince this guy that it is professionally it's right professionally for him to right sign. Professionally right to sign. I said no, I should sign it for him because of duty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my prepare me, but you know, my prepare me con me shit. I you be mm. here Leave of line before yeah. we mm. do the interview. Please, mm. you have to sign this portion. So you you can take it to read it if you don't understand anything. Mm -hmm. Ask me mm -hmm. if you are okay. Then sign and let's do the interview. Or say no. Okay, you you, you don't want to read it. Fine, just yes, sign. <laughs> 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 and also I say on sign. Ah, it's a whole On sign, Oh, and you know if you do it with one, two, three people, 
you give up and then go with the flow. The yes, that's, yeah. that's how it is. So I think MOG, a uh, yeah, business, uh, we, uh, how we behave, we behave towards business and a better course in this. And yes, I did. And maybe you are not just know, yes, oh, but I'm pass it through. Mm-hmm. Maybe he did not speak the business. business. But, but, but wait, wait, if he did not speak the business terms with them well, mm-hmm. how come the Nigerian friends of him they are responding quickly and easier than yes. his own friends, those who might even know his house? Yes, the same way, because he he knows that he's going to speak to the Nigerians. He will go there with business. He go. He will prepare. Uh-huh. He prepare professionally, professionally for, them. for them, but with his own people. He you may decide to go there. Let's just come and pass mm, through me. Mm, mm. That's how Ghanaians behave. That's why uh, even foreigners can come here and do better than our own people sometimes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because when we see foreigners, we try to be on their level and work with them professionally. Mm. But when it's our own people, then it becomes something else. Mm. Mm. So, emoji problem, I think, is our attitude towards business. They will do it for him, but he will struggle as he is saying. So he should just do his best. Maybe mm-hmm. it will work with time that like they will understand mm-hmm. and do it. For, for instance, for the uh, in sign before you do the interview, then mm-hmm. with KSM, anybody who comes to his studio signs. Yeah, yeah. I know that. I, mean, I think yeah. I've even signed that yes. before. Yeah. And he has done it for a longer time, so they understand. Mm. Mm. So they will sign, but if you give up after one or two, then it, it will become the usual thing. They will just do it mm. and mm. do it anyhow. Mm. So MOG or, or suffer from how our Ghanaians in business and how our yeah, 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 business or per own pen Nigerian be in the studio or another foreigner be in the studio. And that's how foreign and unfriend and open woman said or more responding better than so on my best friend. I see. Thank you so much. Um, in Team Dodo Solomon, aka HMO. But what are you also adding to this? Now, this is what I want to add. Sometimes our people don't know how to take advantage of some things. The Nigerian knows how to do this. So the Nigerian knows MOG is an award winning mm-hmm. producer here in Ghana. He knows he is popular. Mm-hmm. He knows he's connected to all the big boys in our music industry here in Ghana. Mm-hmm. If he goes to them, they will not make it long because they know one day. They also, they also need him. Yeah. Yes, they will cheer it. Yes, mm-hmm. so they know one day, so they will not be hard on him. No, 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 no. Let's do business, and we've had that thing happening so many times when it comes to business with Ghana and Nigeria people. Yeah, I hear some event promoters. You can even go. Oh, I'll come. They will come and pass through. They will come and do it. And when he comes, another gig will come out of that. He will make all the money that he did not make from the first gig mm-hmm. in the second gig. But our people. Yeah. It is picking crime. <laughs> Money in the hand, back, back for ground. ground. <laughs> Cash and carry. That is how we want to operate yeah. things here in Ghana. It's funny. Some guys came here, they wanted to shoot music videos. They said, Oh, bless, I mean, we don't have. We, they wanted to do about three videos. Mm-hmm. And the guy was saying, Oh, he might not be able to. I said, Oh, as much as we have a deal, that if I shoot the three music videos, you go to your country, mm-hmm. you pay me. I don't mind. We will shoot all three for you. When you get there, Start paying the way you want to pay. After all, it's about when you are done payment, then we are also going to send you. Mm. So it is simple. You are going to sign a split sheet. Maybe this guy is even going to promote the songs to a place that you, your voice has never reached. Mm. Mm. So how? So why why do you put this kind of attitude towards it? Our people are not serious. It's just like that. Okay, did you Unfortunately, there is another story that we have to do, which is also having the Nigerian thing in there. <laughs> Uh, and I want to read this story before we start talking about the issues this is a statement coming from one of our top most high lifers his name is Kofinti Kofinti is a high life artist he sang with that Lumba and all the great high lifers we have in Ghana and the story captured on Ghana web reads Kofinti cautions Ghanaian artists to stop singing like Nigerians Kofinti cautions Ghanaian artists to stop singing like Nigerians. Now, let me read the full story. It says, High Life artist Kofinti has expressed his confusion with the kind of songs some Ghanaian artists are producing nowadays. 
According to the High Life artist in an interview with Graphic Showbiz, he finds it difficult to differentiate between Ghanaian and Nigerian songs these days because they all have the same rhythm and sound. Now, a quotation coming from him. I listen to the radio and I sometimes wonder which artist is singing because the young Ghanaian musicians are sounding so much like the Nigerians. It is now difficult to tell whether it is a Nigerian or a Ghanaian singing. We better put a stop to it because it is not helping, he told Graphic Showbiz recently. He feathered his stance by saying the real authentic Ghanaian music seems to be forgotten lately. Meanwhile, the Rakia Kuna listed himself and other artists to be doing the real Ghanaian songs and has asked Ghanaians to uh, appreciate the works of Riala, Kenai Soba, Sharifa Gulu, among others, for being authentic. And another quotation, he says, look at the days of the Lumba, or Brafo, Amachi Dede, Lord Kenya, Kojo Anchi, Voyam Ponsa, and Kwabna Kwabna myself. You could clearly tell that this is Ghanaian music, but what do we see now? We can't even boast of our own music and are rather copying the Nigerians. The likes of Riala, Kinaisoba, Sharifa Gunu, Atongo, Wolasi should be appreciated for their works. But unfortunately, we don't really appreciate such musicians in Ghana, he said. Now I'm coming back to my people to ask that. You see, this, this, this point um, Kofi Inti has raised, almost everybody has mentioned it one way or the other somewhere. Maybe you mentioned it in a passing by statement because you did not mean it. But Kofi Inti has made a topic out of this. Hey, is this true? His that some Ghanaian artists are singing like he, he's Nigerians. pointless. He's pointless. He, he doesn't have. He's pointless. Wow. He doesn't have a point. Okay. You drank uh, cake not long ago. Oh yeah. 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 You can drink water too. So that oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Coffee and tea doesn't have a point. Mm -hmm. No, Brasami, he doesn't. You see, I understand where he's coming from. Mm -hmm. He's um, an, an ace, astute, um, high life musician, mm. right? Uh -huh. And so I think probably he is trying to protect the genre high life like we, we see our people do most of it because they are coming from those angles and so they want everybody to equally follow that, that line. You see, Brasami, um, Pastor Osabo, uh, Otabo said this once, mm -hmm. that the fact that in your days you didn't wear shoe to school doesn't mean that in your child's day Mm -hmm. You shouldn't buy food for him. For them, yeah. At your time, probably it was quite normal. Mm -hmm. When you you go to school barefooted, nobody will laugh at you. Mm -hmm. But these days, people will even regard you as a mad mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. Rasa, you see a fear abasu and a yedi. What comes on is what we all play along. Mm -hmm. Most of the the Afrobeat sounds we hear on on radio. You see, these are people sink the tree. They put the tree in there. If it is God, can promise always put God. They fix it in there. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the reason why I'm even say this man doesn't have a point is we have people like Kwesi Swat. Mm -hmm. We have people doing the indigenous high life music. But mm -hmm. what do we see? They don't get the necessary push. They don't get the attention. And then it is this Nigerian music that everybody is playing. Now we keep complaining that Nigerian music has dominated our airwave. And if you want to get those music off the airwave, what do you do? You sing like them. You not <laughs> probably you sing like them. But uh -huh. the, 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 the the point is you sing similar like them because you see the reason why their music has So wait, 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 wait. So um if I'm getting your current point you are making, mm. you are telling me that mm. what Kofinti is saying is true, but then there is a purpose they are doing that. I am not authenticating it that he's true. Okay. Uh, not, not to that. Uh -huh. So, here, uh huh. Uh huh. No, Kofache, more was his part. This is back. I hit the jet. Uh huh. But it was, yes. You see, I'm not authenticating the, the fact that he's right. No, I, I mentioned earlier that he's pointless. He doesn't have any point. What he's saying. But coming back to say that because our airwaves are dominated by Nigerian songs, therefore I'm, our people I'm, are I'm satisfying no, them. No, no. It makes it true. No. Let Less that you think you can talk about let, it. No, let me finish my statement. Okay, finish. Let, let me finish. I, I, I mentioned earlier on that we have people like Kwesi Swat. Mm -hmm. And others who are doing the indigenous high life music, we have Kesika a, a lot more. They are doing the indigenous high life music. Mm -hmm. we, we, we keep complaining that the, the people are throwing the high life culture away, but we have people who are holding on to it and they are not getting the push. 
even the airwave if these people are contacting um the radio stations mm -hmm. for rotation how they struggle and the djs don't even play their songs mm -hmm. they don't play them now let me bring elijah the worshiper into the scene mm -hmm. you see you see do you know why elijah the worshiper is doing his line of music mm -hmm. when it when it comes to when it comes to worship mm -hmm. is elijah the worshiper the man is really good in worship now see caught him when he was in ghana here and they have a project a very solid beautiful project where they got to um uh, france nasi was like elijah i am not releasing this song i want you to come so we have more so we release as joint together that's what nasi told elijah the worshiper the man is good but you don't know why you have to take that direction because he realized that you go to the the christian parties and all of that it is a crit christian party but you see uh the secular music still dominating there so if we the christian people want to dominate our own party or our own circles what do we do yeah, then it like. means not to sing like but similar, similar. Yeah, we need to dance. get content we need to get songs that probably our, our songs are not danceable enough when you go to these uh, uh, parties christian parties you see they play gospel middleys and all of that mm, mm, mm. gospel middley which dance can you now that everybody want to behave diplomatic and of like you go to your and then you you go to an event then you hear gospel midly play how are you going to dance are you at a church <laughs> you see so 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 the, the point i'm making is that if the people doing the high life music are not getting the push and others too want to eradicate um let me once again help you here he's not saying they are doing high life or they are doing afro i'm not sure that is the problem it's they are he's singing. saying they are singing like nigerian so so have you heard um um uh, Kamido. Bet, Kam yes, Camido. Yeah. Ka have you heard Camido sugar cane? I've heard, I've heard Camido sugar cane. When but you listen to it critically, mm. don't you feel what Kofi is saying in there? Do you know why mm -hmm. I, I don't? Do you, do you know why? Do you, do you know why I don't feel that? Do you know why I don't feel that way? I get, I get the away vibes in there. The guy fix away lyrics in there. I get Jackie, the Jackie we are saying. You hear the three song in there. Somebody definitely will be listening to that song and then will, will follow and they'll be like, Ah, this word yes there's that in there you see so you listen to these songs you follow the terrain you listen to these songs and then when you listen to a language that you feel this language isn't familiar or isn't aligned with the nigerian music now you inquire you ask where is this one from and then they'll ask okay so this is a Ghanaian on an afro beat putting chi on the and it is not all of them that are sounding like that and again because these people to know what they are doing so they consciously also fix in their native language in there so that when at least you hear or you follow you can also ask questions to know where they are coming from we we hear at sharon at sharon and this guy yeah oh yeah right this is conscious effort to get their songs in there to get some of these gems on on their songs and then they are dominating with it and so if they are dominating your country and then you do not want it and then you want to eradicate them from your airways what do you do okay thank you um jesmat indirectly jesmat wants to tell us that the guys are singing like nigerians but they are right in doing that they have the green light to do that that's what jesmat is saying exactly that. if they are what's the problem with it okay fine Chemo, come to the yeah, <coughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, but it's a bit funny, you know, in the COVID days when they were on top, mm -hmm. you know, some people were complaining that they are spoiling their high life, mm -hmm. they were doing their own thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. in his days, mm -hmm. people were complaining that he wasn't doing their real, real authentic high life. life yeah. <laughs> now he is complaining that some people are not doing the real uh, Ghanaian music. music. I mean, this complaint will not stop today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It will continue. But the thing is, um, what he's saying, I think we, we can agree. I can agree with him that people are singing like the Nigerians. But uh, uh, after that, what I can say is, and so what? <laughs> <laughs> and so they should stop. No, and they, sing authentic Ghanaian music no, like a people singing the authentic like, 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 like he, he stated them in the story but the people yeah. singing the authentic but Ghanaian music what are they doing to them because it's what is there you can mention a lot the, more this audience is different from uh Kamido's audience mm -hmm. so they, they should just sing like uh Amachi did they and go hungry or what 
Is that what he is saying? Okay. He can sing like Amachi Didi and uh, those people that he was he mentioned, yeah. and then see the results for himself. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's not just about singing or just it's not just about doing music. It's also about business. Uh -huh. And Jackie will sing like my mind day for you by you here at some point. She will Switch. say something in uh, gun uh -huh. or tree or ewe or something. Uh -huh. It will tell you that it's coming from Ghana. Uh -huh. And that is the business side of things. She's uh -huh. not going off his uh, her country or you know. She's maintaining the fact that she's a Ghanaian, but mm -hmm. this is the star, this is the new thing going on, and I have to jump in there and also make my cut. Okay. Yeah, so uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I mm -hmm. mean, if Covington is complaining because they are sounding like that. So, so, so one, of his problem, one of his problems was that mm -hmm. if you should listen to a song anywhere in the world, because of how our guys are singing. Even if you don't know the artist, you might assume the song is coming from Nigeria. Yes. Meanwhile, for you know, it is a Ghanaian boy doing that singing. Yes. Yes. And that one is true. It has happened to even Jackie. Yeah. And some people thought... Uh, In fact, the, oh, the, the Nigerians have even said it themselves yes, that, oh, yes. even they thought she was, was a Nigerian. Nigerian. So that one is true, but me, I don't see any problem with it in terms of business. Mm -hmm. That's that's the point that I, I want to make here. Mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of business, there's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. And in this world, uh, our survival instincts is uh, basically what we use to make decisions. Mm -hmm. So they will do what will make them survive first mm -hmm. before they will think about even being patriotic or whatever you want mm -hmm. them to be. The survivor first. Yes. Mm -hmm. So business first. If uh, Kwesi Swat is doing indigenous Ghanaian and songs and even uh, Kofinti couldn't mention his name in his submission. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he hasn't heard of him. Yes, he's, yes. Not, he's not been exposed but to him yet. him yet. Yes. Yeah. And Kwasi Swat is uh, struggling down there trying to come, come up, up yeah. a bit by bit. So if Kwasi Swat decides to, okay, let me go their way and see, and boom, he's and there. Fun. Now everybody is saying Kwasi Swat, Kwasi Swat. Are you going to tell him that no, 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 go back to what you are doing? No, he won't. It's business first. Mm. So at this point, let the business people take over. Mm. And later, when they are relaxing, then they can give you what you are looking for. Mm. So yes, it's true. Me, I will agree with him that some of our people are sounding like the Nigerians. But mm -hmm. it's Afrobeat. That's how it is done. Okay. If you don't do it like that, you are not part but, of But you don't it. pronounce words, don't mention words like they do. Because yeah, yeah, for instance, when you ca when you come to Ghana, we say plantation, we don't say plantation. Yes. We say no. doctor, mm -hmm. we don't say doctor. No. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. We say no. tender, mm -hmm. we don't say thunder. <laughs> so if you sing and you say thunder, yeah. we know you. Then we know where you are coming, coming from. from. So, uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, I think that one he will have a. Yeah, that, that is what he's saying. That is how they sing, but, but how they pronounce their words. words. Because yeah. here in Ghana, we have how we pronounce our words. words yeah. Same way, those have that. So, like, if you are singing and you say uh, thunder, in Ghana, we don't say thunder. Yeah, we, we say thunder. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what uh, I was told say that business first. Mm -hmm. So, those uh, musicians who are doing that, they are doing business. Mm -hmm. And they have every right to do it in that way. Okay. Kofinti at this point will be more more patriotic than even being a musician because he knows his <laughs> level. If he was, if he really wants to be in the music business, he will understand it. Okay, thank you, Intim Dodo Solomon. And once again, this is not to create any sort of division or whatever you might understand it. It is an observation someone has made, and critically, critically. If you are to look at what he's saying critically, you will spot so many. You will spot yeah. so many. You will spot so many. Should this be a matter of concern to us? I'm sure that is what he's saying. Roland will speak finally on this. Then we will run away. If you can beat them, you join them. Mm -hmm. Let's have it. Uh, when Kofi T has made a very good observation, but I ask myself, who is he blaming? Is he asking the people who are now sounding like Nigerians to stop singing like Nigerians and mm -hmm. sound like who? 
sound like Ghanaians. He mentioned them. You see, I ask myself that the people that he, he mentioned their names, mm -hmm. who have they men uh, mentored? Which people? Because the music business has changed completely from the days of Amachi Baby mm -hmm. to now. Mm -hmm. Even from hip life car to now, and the music business level has changed. Mm -hmm. These are total different times. Mm -hmm. That you can't compare, and you see, when when a generation, an older generation mentors a new generation, mm -hmm. that is when you see traits of the older generation yeah. in the newer. You see traces in them. Yes, mm. but if we are not seeing their traces of their generation in this one, then it means that they did not do a good job. Mm. That's it. So if he wants some somebody to blame, <laughs> this is a serious point. Yes, he should blame his generation. Because that they did not mentor yes, the like new, gener new generation very well. That's why they cannot sing like that. Exactly. But were they mentored by Nigerians? You see, <laughs> uh -huh. so 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 if, if if you want something, uh -huh. they say if, if the best is not available, the available becomes the best. Mm -hmm. What they are seeing now are the Nigerians. Mm -hmm. So who do, do they do uh, does he want them to learn from? Mm -hmm. It is these people that they are obviously going to learn from. Mm -hmm. And moreover, you see that Ghanaian mentality of being self-sufficient and now Yem Kom Swan is also one of the reasons why these guys are sounding like Nigerians now. Mm -hmm. First blame near your home generation about mentoring the new generation. Mm -hmm. The second one has to do with the music business and how it is expanded. Mm -hmm. Because your share will be to say flavor, P square, near your coffee in Timu Jinawa. You see the gap. You see the gap big. Mm. So at the end of the day, you catch the yeah the children that is just there the dance by there they catch us all. Cause that we choose to back up. Especially when you saw the man of it choose to back. Children that is every episode dig my feet. I'm wrong. Come on, every episode dig my feet. Don't be so bad, say children that. Yeah, boy, you know maybe that's what he wants to enjoy. No, but never say every day up his car. I know a young boy who says that he wants to grow to become an arm robber. No, but every hour is that. Yeah, this is a phobia. You know how to wear the Elon Musk at work. Yeah, the that's a doctor despite that. Obviously, you pay that. You choose Elon Musk. That's that's what I'm saying. That's how I'm making my point. And you know, yes, these people want to achieve what the Nigerians are achieving. They want to get what the Nigerians are getting. When the biggest Ghanaian artist or obey a big we are, the moment obey a big organ has seen asa. And these guys don't want to be like these these people. Check everybody who has been big in Ghana. Apart from one more who took point, can I use Obama? And you see, can I use Obama? Real Amona or Bubo Bubo Mudin. Forget and say they are not even sufficient in Ghana. Mm -hmm. They travel outside. Mm -hmm. How many of Kofi in three generations in this year have traveled? I don't know who took outside the Bubo the Bubo Gates. I don't know who took point. I call it music business. Mm -hmm. When they when they travel, how many you know to go and go outside? How many you know to go and go? How many people get different jobs from going out? Do they pursue music when they go outside? Not no, like, not exactly. Like, yeah. But when a Nigerian musician leaves Nigeria and goes to a different country, the person is going to pursue music mm. and wants to achieve and win there. Mm. And that is the kind of mentality the new generation are picking. Okay. So if it means sounding like them in po in order to achieve what they want, then they will definitely do it. And again, some points don't make it and say they should do uh, Ghanaian or real Ghanaian authentic music. I ask myself, Ghanaian authentic music, is it the high life? It's not true. <laughs> yes, Ghanaian music, when a Nigerian is singing, when a, a Nigerian is singing, na oka ni tonations, ne, ne, omu Nigerian, the real Nigerian songs, na. Mm -hmm. You know, say, with Nigerian, in that yeah. These are people who consciously want you to know say they are not leaving the the almost Ghanaian women behind mm. so even mm. when they sing or they rap krana they want to still want sound to, yes, local or, or they want to chip in some words mm. for you to even ask say hey which language is this mm. no matter how i will give so jackie a Ghanaian, definitely it will come out say she's a nigerian mm. Mm. opa my name to say nigerian he said they freddy mary freddy mary isn't he have Ghanaian? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 language 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 language
Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your root will still come out. Okay. And at the end of the day, this is that you kind. It is business and stomach. Mm. Mm. In the end, to say the real Ghanaian, uh, or quote unquote, authentic Ghanaian music, no problem. If he becomes as big as the legendary Amachi Dede Kujuentri, his his roots and circles will still remain in Ghana. Mm. Whilst the world is now traveling globally. Okay. People are pushing their music to other countries, mm. but our own the people that we want them to mentor us are sufficient in the little that they have. No, whilst we also want to achieve big, and some people are showing us the way. Say, when you go this way, you go that way, you are going to achieve big. Obviously, we will choose the better option. Okay, thank you. Um, you wanted to add something yeah, quickly. Yeah, Let's wrap very up. Very our very time is up. Mm -hmm. Like what the book said, you see, we went to Nancy and then Nancy sat down with Elijah the worship and I was like Elijah me ti wo nyom me ti ti sa but na me nim se e ye wo baby a wadi e nyom ni e fa ne me pe I want to do a project with you mm -hmm. just on your same target in case se nasi di e we all know how nasi sings like mm -hmm. but on your same target but I would like you to add the francophone to it to what I want to do with you so that we can dominate that circles. You, mm. you look you look you look at the business aspect okay. but not just uh, yeah so are you guys saying they should continue to say oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. so far as they are getting the, get the dominance we are enjoying them there um, I, I, I want to say that no matter what you do where you come from your origin mm. is something that you cannot trade oh yes for anything oh yes because you were not brought up to be saying plantation instead of plantation mm. don't start doing it you were not brought up like that oh. don't start oh, you see some of these are some of the things that we are sometimes lagging behind though recently when they were doing the olympics the winter olympics <laughs> opening someone sent me something when it got to the ghana opening ceremony our athletes when it got to their tent they were having their flats and they had on winter, winter jackets or winter with the long ones. When the Nigerians came, they had their Agbada long uh, three piece, piece uh, Agbada, whatever they call it. Agbada. Agbada. And that was still what they were doing on the field because they were not running there. That was what they had doing their opening ceremony. Having their three piece Agbada, still, that was what they were using. So if we are not so proud of our plantation, our doctor, and we start doing doctor and plantation, what's up? It costs money. What, what you are saying, the, the uh, the winter jacket thing that you are saying, uh -huh. you think it will be easy for them to buy kente or whatever and make that? No, Chemo, Chemo. If you are going to if you are going to abroad or if you are going abroad mm. and you know the weather is cold there mm. and you are given this paper, you know how to make sure that this paper will cover you up so you don't be cold. Yes, but it is not as if they should go and fold the kente on their arm, on their arms. The they can still do the are the people who the Nigerians who did the uh, three. Do you think they were just wearing it? They have sewn it in a way that will meet the weather demands there. For sure. And it cost them to get it like that. Yes, and, and the Ghanaians were even complaining that they were not paying them. So you think they will go it's, and it's the the avail availability. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to this thing, uh, Nigerians, uh, they don't trust you. I still think that, Chemo, you see, yeah. when we were all growing up, our mothers compared to some mothers. Yeah. You, they were not equal. equal yes. Some mothers had. Yeah. Your mother did not have like that. Yes. But you did not go crying every day that hey, I'm in school and my mother did not give me um, milk of uh, tin of mm -hmm. milk mm -hmm. to come and drink. Mm -hmm. I was giving uh, dinner time. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll come to the school <laughs> and cry. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. So yeah. some people will come. You are packing tin of milk. See, very tin woman. My way, I thought it didn't turn back up in our and we are saying you go another gym. And come up for three days, man. So, <laughs> so that's I mean that case. Yeah. It's so, like, so, but still, you are eating your dinner time yes. with pride. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> three days, no eat. <laughs> so, well, what is means is it's, that it's true. But when you are climbing the ladder, it becomes difficult to maintain that thing. standard. I mean, it will cost you more mm -hmm. to maintain that your route, you know. And you know, Oma, Ombe, who said no, I can do something if. Make go off. I, I, I will survive. They will go off. 
to survive. Yeah, yeah to survive. To I sell your uh, birthright to survive. No, 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 they are not serving their That's what they are doing. No, they are selling their birthright to survive. Say language, no. Still, I can't. Say, oh, oh, Tony, you didn't see Kavia, or Bagana, or Nenema, make us our country. And yet, you know, Cassano, or Nenema, make us. Well, that is how the story is so far. It has been another wonderful yeah, evening yeah. here on Sammy Flex TV Showbiz Daily with my great guys in Team Dodi Solomon Chemo from Extreme Left. He is an IT consultant. Anything you want to do on your YouTube channel, if you're having any challenges, just contact him and he'll sort it out for you. Yes, uh, Jesmat is the manager of Elijah the Worshipper who is based in France. He's also a writer at uh, jsmart.com, right? Smartnewsgh.net. Smartnewsgh.net. Okay, I always forget. Smartnewsgh.net. And Roland Amate is also a blogger, a publicist, and an event person. He doubles as an artist manager as well. If you also need to do any event, even your wedding, bring it to him. I actually spoke with someone who is telling me he's coming to have his wedding in December and that he would want a wedding plan. Oh, okay. no, no, no. There we have weekends. Who is telling me? Who is telling me? Who is telling me? Who is telling me? I'll, I'll remember one day. My name is Sammy Flex. And to the rest of the guys out there, uh, the boys at the back, the guitar, Rasta, Karen, CBT Flex, Yao Lapi G, Tina Baby, Gideon, Neelam, Tessin, and to you, thanks for always having time to watch what we do here on Sammy Flex TV. We grow because of you guys. God bless you. Till we meet again tomorrow, we are out of here.